we will be installing Stable Diffusion Web UI locally. Go to this GitHub page. If you scroll down, you can see a screenshot of how the UI looks. On this page, you can find a lot of details about the options available for the web UI. We will scroll down to installation on Windows. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, you can use these instructions. The dependencies are Python and Git. You might want to install Python from the link on this page, but I ended up not doing that and using the Python that came with Anaconda from the previous video. Let's start the installation. We will first download the zip file by clicking this link. Click on the zip file to download. I'm going to copy it to a more convenient location. Extract the zip file. I'm going to create a folder for stable diffusion and move the files to that folder. The next step is to run the update batch file. Finally, we can run the run batch file. This took a very long time, maybe about an hour. The step for cloning taming transformers alone took over half an hour. It looks like it is stuck, but it is actually downloading and installing things in the background. Use this time to binge watch a few episodes of your show of choice, or do other stuff I guess. Once this finally finishes, you will see a URL where it says local URL at 127001 port 7860. You can select that and click Ctrl C to copy and paste it to a browser window. You can also add startup parameters to auto launch the web browser. We will go over other options some other time. This is the UI now installed locally. Let us test with a very basic prompt. Did someone say a duck? You can close the application by closing the browser and pressing Ctrl C in the command prompt window and selecting yes to terminate the batch job. The next time you run the run batch job, it should start up faster as it has already downloaded and installed everything it needs the first time we ran it. Now let's go over the second set of instructions for Windows without a GPU. We will begin by copying the path of the folder where we would like to install by pressing Ctrl C on the path. We can open a prompt window and change to that directory with CDE. Now we just copy this git clone command and run it in the command prompt. By default, git will create a folder with the same name as the GitHub project name. We can specify a custom folder name by adding it at the end after a space. I will create one called Stable Diffusion No NVIDIA and hit enter. This will create that folder and download the project. Now we just need to run this web UI user batch file. Let's go into that new folder and double click that batch file. Oh no, we have an error. This error is saying Python couldn't be launched. This is because I chose not to install Python from step 1 of the instructions. If you installed Python, then you shouldn't receive this error. Since I would like to use Python installed by Anaconda, I will need to do an extra step. I first need to locate where the Python is installed. Let's go to that folder. It should be located where Anaconda is installed which should be on C, Users, your username, Anaconda3. If you scroll down here, you will see python.exe. We will need to copy this path and then go to our run batch file. Right-click it and then click Edit. Here, set Python equal to the path in our clipboard and add a slash python.exe like so. Save and close. Now double-click on the run batch file again and it should start the initial download and install process. 
Once this completes, it will show the URL where the web UI is running. We can copy paste this to a browser like before. And we are now done. We have finished installing the base stable diffusion web core application locally. In the future, we will go into greater detail about what else is available through this web UI.